Well, it will be a fan fest in Foxborough and Providence for the Army-Navy game over the next couple of days. Tens of thousands of people will be flocking to our area. And a local professor tells Sarah Gurnelli this weekend's game could be a good trial run for how the World Cup will be in 2026. Sarah? Well, that's right, guys. The U.S. and that includes Gillette Stadium, Mexico and Canada were all selected to host the World Cup in 2026. And one professor I spoke with says that means even more people will be heading to Rhode Island when the time comes. Thousands of fans are waiting for the kickoff of the Army-Navy game Saturday. So the Army-Navy game from a sports standpoint is one of the premier events. Bringing in major tourism to Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Professor of Sports Entertainment and Event Management Lee Eccleson from Johnson & Wales University says this game will give the stadium officials a good idea of what the World Cup will bring in 2026. The, the whole notion of ratcheting up all of the things that need to be done for the Army-Navy game will be another level above that to be able to host the, the World Cup. This is the first time Boston is hosting the World Cup since 1994, putting Massachusetts and Rhode Island on the world stage. The preparation and the things that we do to uh, get ready for the World Cup will, will have already been practiced and so um, we'll have a great opportunity to show the world what Providence and Rhode Island are like. The Providence Warwick Convention and Visitors Bureau expects the Army-Navy game to bring in $3 million to the local economy. Gillette Stadium predicts the World Cup will bring in about $500 million to the area, with an estimated 450,000 people coming from Europe, South America, and across the globe. And by then, we'll be very fortunate Tidewater Landing Stadium will be, have been built, so soccer will rebuild, really be a focal point of our community. So Gillette is projected to host four to six matches over the World Cup tournament. And as for the Army-Navy game this weekend, we have more information on our website, WPRI.com. In the studio, Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.